guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. My name is Jen and this is Jen's Happy Home. And every June I like to share with you what I got for my birthday. Basically, instead of doing like a June's favorite video, I just share with you what I got for my birthday because basically that will be my favorite things of the month because I truly love and appreciate all of the gifts that I received for my birthday. And I have some pretty fun and unique things this year that I'm excited to share with you. I'm gonna start off with this really cute shirt that I got. It says, I'm done adulting, let's go to Disney. It's really, really cute. My husband got this for me and it's super comfortable, really a cute message and I love it. I'm sure that he got it from Amazon, so if I can find it, I'll leave a link to it in the description below. And behind me are all of my gifts. And you can see my family knows me so well. I have a Disney princess bag, and then I have a Mickey Mouse bag. <laughs> so yes, they do know that I am a big Disney fan and I got some really cute stuff. So I'm excited to share it with you. I'm gonna go ahead and take everything out of the bags. My birthday was actually just the other night and I haven't even gone through and taken everything out yet. So it's kind of like I'm opening my presents all over again because it's just been so busy since then. I haven't had a chance to sit down and look at everything and really appreciate it. So let me take everything out of these bags and I will show you what I got for my birthday this year. Okay guys, let's get started because I have a lot of stuff going on here. I'll start with something that was rather unique and this was from a friend of mine and how interesting is this? It is a hand carved ladle carved out of wood. Very interesting, it's very solid and heavy wood. You can tell it was all hand carved and I'm actually going to probably hang this up somewhere in our lake house because it is very rustic looking and it would actually be very appropriate in our little house in the woods. So I'm gonna use that as part of the decor in our lake house. So just a very interesting item that I received from a friend. Something else that I have here. All right, this is really cool. My dad found me a vintage Mickey Mouse. It's from 1930, and here he is. How cool is that? Very old fashioned Mickey Mouse figurine. And a while back he purchased um, another one for me that was even older. I think it was like 1929 and it's the pie faced Mickey. So I have another vintage Mickey Mouse to add to my very old fashioned Mickey Mouse collection. I just love collecting things like this. It makes it that much more interesting and unique when it's something that's so very old. So I thought this was really, really something fun to have and I absolutely love it. And then my mom got me these beautiful bracelets and they're all like mermaid themed. So we have a little seahorse and that's a starfish. <laughs> so we have a starfish and a seahorse and then this bracelet just says mermaid on it. So it's really just a very, very beautiful bracelet. Let me just put it on so you guys can see how pretty it looks. And I love it. We go down the shore a lot and we're going on a cruise this year. So this will be some very appropriate jewelry to wear for all of those things. My mom also got me one of these little doodads that you, you like hang it on the table. I'm not sure exactly how it works, but your purse hangs off of it. So you clip it on a table when you're, oh, here we go, when you're at a restaurant or something, and then you hang your purse on it so that your purse doesn't get dirty. So I thought that was really cool and it has a really pretty pattern on it. So that was a fun gift. Another item that I received is this really cute wooden star, just another thing that I can hang up in our lake house. So I thought that was really pretty. My mom purchased for me this unique royalty. It's a detoxifying mask. So I don't really use masks very often. So this will be good to give a try. I definitely need to spend more time taking care of my face. It's one of those things I just don't give time to. I mean, I'll use like a makeup wipe at night before I go to bed and I will try to get all my makeup off, but that's pretty much as far as I go. So I definitely could use um, investing some time in taking care of my face. So this will be a great way to start. Finally guys, this is something I've always wanted but would never invest the money in. And that is the Lululemon leggings, these workout leggings. 
and this is a pretty bright color. I was a little bit uncertain about it, but then I realized that they are reversible. How cool is that? I really love the gray color with this like salmon trim. I don't mind that at all, so I probably will wear it this way, but it's great to know that you could switch it off and you can um, you know, wear either color. So I just thought that was really, really cool. They're so comfortable, they fit me so well, and I really love them. I cannot wait to, to wear these to the gym. Maybe it'll inspire me to work out a little bit more often now that I have my new Lululemon leggings to wear. So these are really a beautiful and generous gift. I was very happy with them. My mom got me this beautiful white lacy top. It has a really pretty bow on the top and it just has all this lovely lace trim and then it has like the ruffle detail going around the arms and the back is also all lace. And it's just like this really soft, uh, like chiffon -y type of material. So I thought that was really pretty and I'm sure that I will get a lot of use out of this really nice top over the summer. So this was super cute. I really need pajamas for the warmer months. I only have a couple of pairs. And I have this adorable Mickey Mouse pink tank with these little shorts to go along with it. And it has like all of the Mickey heads on it. So I thought that was really cute. You know, everyone knows me so well. Everyone knows how I love Disney and Mickey Mouse and all that stuff. So I had some really fun gifts this year and I think this is really cute. And going along with the Mickey theme, I also got these really pretty emery boards that have Mickey Mouse on them. So it's just a set of three nail files and the one has the Mickey head on the top and then this one just has all little Mickey heads going down and then just the stripey one. So I thought that was really adorable. And then something that I've needed for a while now is a case to put my straightening iron in. So I had a really nice one, um, but my daughter thought that it was acceptable to put the straightening iron right on the top of it rather than on the inside. She just set it down on top and the whole thing just like burnt away to nothing. And it looks absolutely horrible. So I really needed a new straightening iron case. And this one is by Vera Bradley. And I believe this print is called Winterberry. And it has two slots, it has one, right here in the front and then there's another slot and then this is the one I think that you know you can put um, very hot items in. So I was very happy to receive this because I know I'm going to get a lot of use out of it especially traveling over the summer months. It's great to have a case to put my straightening iron in because I do not go anywhere without that. That is like essential. My straightening iron and my makeup are the two things I absolutely have to have when I go away on vacation. And then a couple of other things, it's not even in here right now, but it's the Charge Sync Limited Lifetime Warranty, just basically a charger for my iPhone. I can't seem to hold on to them for very long. The kids are always taking them from me. I actually had the pleasure of using this for two days and currently I believe it's in my son's room. <laughs> I'm going to figure out a way to like staple these cords to the wall or something. There's gotta be a way that you can plug this into the wall and it doesn't move. I'm honestly thinking about using the staple gun and taking this cord back and staple gunning it to my wall. Is that a little insane? I'm totally gonna do it though. I'll let you know how it goes. We have plaster walls here, so I don't know. That might not be the best idea. Okay, so I also have, this was exciting. I hope you guys can hear the difference. I finally got a microphone for my camera. I've been doing YouTube for over a year and a half now and I have not had a microphone. So I'm hoping the quality of this microphone that is currently on my camera now is a little bit better than just using the microphone on the camera itself. Um, let me know in the comments below if you hear a difference. I don't, I'm not like a techie person. I can't really tell a huge difference, but everybody says that there is one. But also looking back now at my old camcorder videos, I just, I cringe to even watch my old videos, but I can definitely see a big difference um, with the various different cameras that I've used. And as I've upgraded over the last over a year and a half now, I definitely can see a big difference. So maybe that'll be the same thing for me once I get used to the new microphone. But this is by Shure and it's the VP83 Lens Hopper. 
So, I don't know. It got really great reviews. I watched some YouTube videos on it. It's very user friendly and I'm happy with it thus far. It's really simple to plug in and hook up. So, hopefully, uh, <laughs> there is audio on this. I did one video and I guess I didn't, there's like an on off switch and I guess I forgot to turn it on. And my assumption was the camera itself would pick up the audio if the microphone wasn't working for some reason. Not the case, so. The whole video was complete silence. You can't hear anything that I'm saying. So I really hope I don't make that mistake again. Okay, and this is something that my 13 year old son made for me. It's this little tea light holder and he has a little tea light in there and all these little cutouts and he made this for me in school. I thought it was really sweet that my little boy made me something. It's been a while. He's 13 now, so it's been a long time since he actually um, was creative and made something fun for me. So this is really nice to have. And whoops, <laughs> I almost dropped it and I love it. If you guys watched my Monday video, you know I was way too excited to wait to share this one with you guys and this is the handbag that I received from my husband it's the Dooney and Burke 25th anniversary Disney Vacation Club I think it's called the shopper tote. <laughs> it's just so many words to remember. And when I was filming my Monday video, I had to like keep stopping and thinking, what is this called? But it's just a beautiful Disney Vacation Club anniversary Junie and Burke bag. I absolutely love it. The pattern on here is beautiful. Um, it kind of tells a story and it has like all of the logos and like sketches of, of the symbols of all of the DVC resorts. So being that we just signed up with the Beach Club this year, it's our first year of the Disney Vacation Club. I think it's really extra special that it is also the 25th anniversary of the Disney Vacation Club and I can get all of these special things like um, the Alex and Ani bracelet, the 25th anniversary bracelet I purchased a while back and now I have the Junie and Burke 25th anniversary handbag. So I'm really excited to have this. I love it so much. Um, I am typically not a big handbag kind of person. I really scaled back this year. I only used very small purses, but now that I am working a lot and traveling a lot, this is going to get so much use. I can fit my laptop in here and my binders and my notebooks. Um, if I'm going, you know, away for a weekend, I can fit so many things in here that I need. So it's just a wonderful bag to have and I'm super excited to use it this summer. And the last thing that I will share with you is, okay, I actually got a gift card from my sister for Target. And if you guys have been to Target recently, you know that Disney has taken over Target. There is so much Disney stuff in Target. I like really had to hold back the reins and control myself from buying absolutely everything. So I did try to not go crazy and I just picked up a couple of cute things at Target and I thought I would show that with you quickly, what I um, used my gift card on. Okay, so. These I thought were super cute for upcoming barbecues this summer. These are the Hampy, the Hampy. These are the Happy Camper paper plates. And look at Mickey, he's just like chilling out at the bonfire and he's by the camper and you can see like the forest in the background. I just thought these were the cutest paper plates ever. And yeah, I get excited about paper plates if Mickey's on them apparently. I also get excited about Mickey napkins. Check these out. So adorable. Look at Minnie in her sunglasses. So cool in her little bikini with all these little ice cream cones. It's just really, really cute. So I got paper plates and napkins. Happy birthday. <laughs> That's what I spent my gift card on. I have more fun stuff though too. I also have the Mickey and Minnie um, can coolers. I just thought they were really cute. Maybe I can get my husband to use it with me at our next barbecue. He can use the Mickey one, I can use the mini one. It'll be really cute. He probably won't do it, but I'm gonna try because I think it's a really fun idea. And then I thought this was great. It's just a chip and dip set. And I like that it's microwave safe and dishwasher safe, uh, being that it's just like this plastic. I'm really glad that I can just throw it in the dishwasher. And I really need bowls like this for barbecues. I really don't have um, many chip and dip or just chip 
bowls in general. So when we entertain, it's always a struggle trying to find things to put things in. You would think at this stage of my life, I would have a ton of that stuff, but I really don't. So I thought this was really cute. And I like that it's just like a basic white, so it will go with anything. I can use it on the holidays. I can use it at a barbecue. I really like it. And then the last thing that I found at Target, which I thought was so cute, would probably make for a really nice gift too, is this Hershey S'mores Caddy. And it has a tray and dividers where you can put all of the stuff that you need for uh, making s'mores. So when we go to our lake house, we make s'mores pretty much every time. And I keep all the stuff in the cabinet. And by the time we make s'mores, let's just say it's like the next day, the chocolate bars are gone. My kids house the chocolate bars every time. And I'm always trying to find different ways to store them, to hide them, to put them away. So my idea is to keep all of this more stuff in this little caddy and I will keep it in a place that I'm not gonna share with you guys in case my children are watching this video, but I'm gonna have a secret place and I'm gonna keep this there and it's gonna have all this more stuff in it and the kids are never gonna know where it is until I pull it out for s'more night. So that is what enticed me to buy this little kit. I think it's really cute. It has a little handle on the top so you can, uh, walk it down to the bonfire without spilling or dropping anything. And you can have everything nicely stacked and ready to go to make s'more. So I thought this was really, really great. So that is everything that I received for my birthday this year. It's not meant to be boastful in any way. Um, I just wanna share with you all of the wonderful gifts that I was given for my birthday. It's just fun to look back and see what my mom and my dad and my family um, all gifted me for my birthday. I just kind of like to have a keepsake of that. I hope that you guys did enjoy this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and subscribe down below and hit the bell up top so that you can be notified every time I have a new and fun video to share. Follow me at Jen's Happy Home on Instagram and I hope that you guys all have a great weekend. Take care, bye.